Good morning, everyone. I'm just outside marveling at how lovely it is. This morning, I struggled a little bit getting out of bed. Not because I was tired, but because I was a little bit heavy, a little down and feeling like, what's the point? What's the point of getting up? When every time I turn on something, there's this negativity in the world. And if it's not negativity, it is people comparing themselves to other people. And, and I was just so heavy by it. And I thought, this can't be right because I have such a positive message. I have such a drive and a passion for people to love themselves. And that's the message I want to get out. And you know, you know who whispered something to me this morning? <laughs> Good old Arthur. Arthur whispered to me, Angela. There was a giant truck, but I love it. Um, Arthur whispers to me, Angela, who's your hero? And I was like, Harriet Tubman. And that's all he needed to say because Harriet didn't waver. You understand? She did not waver and she had it way. Oh, I don't even want to say way harder than me because I'd be trivializing it. It was just like she had a hell of a time. And after 29 years, she said, No more. So, what did she do? She had this focus, all right? This focus she had. Not only was she focused, but she had a relationship with her intuition. She trusted her intuition because she knew when to come, when to go, when to, when to stay. She knew all of those things. And she understood those things. And so it was like, well, what do I need to do today? I've got my goal. My goal is to teach people how to love themselves in such an unwavering way that it does not matter what society's opinion of you is or what your family's opinion of you is, but that you're going to get up in the morning and say, you know what? I am here. Well, what am I going to do with my life? And with such passion and zest for life, that that's what impels you to get out of bed every day. That's my role in this world. So there's my focus. And I have a, a relationship with my intuition. Right? I need to strengthen that. But that comes with practice. So that's what I'm doing. I'm practicing developing that intuition. So today, if you are feeling a little bit unsure and you're like, you know what? I'm in a relationship I don't want to be in, but I can't see a way out. I'm in a job I don't want to be in, and I can't see a way out. Be encouraged to know that all will be well. Seek the silence for a bit. I don't know if you've ever grown up in a hurricane, but the wind and the rain is just brutal. But the calmest place is the eye, the center. That's where we need to get to. So whether or not you go for a walk or you sit quietly or you listen to some classical music or you go to the library, do something that helps you to reconnect with yourself so that you can hear that still small voice when it speaks and says, hey, we're in this together. So that's all I wanted to share with you this morning. I can, I'm seeing that apple blossom right there. It's awesome. And it smells incredible out here too. Anyway, much love.